Today, thought we'd take the car with the roof off, given it's such a nice day. Better to go out without a helmet on too. All right. So essential shopping again. Really, just look at the weather. How can you not want to go out in this? Even if it is just for milk. Still, we got that 5k radius to do a bit of shopping in, so we'll utilize it today. Perfect day for a drive. Just perfect. Unfortunately, it is stage four. Melbourne's been hit pretty hard with the restrictions and you kind of get it, but it's also a little bit frustrating at the same time. Last thing you want to do is sit indoors all day. So being able to take advantage of um, the weather and enjoy it, you know, go for a walk, go for a drive, all good. Being able to drive without too many cars on the road is pretty good too. Oh, sorry about that. Hit the microphone. Uh, stuff rolling around in the car. You, you don't realise how much wind this drags up until you take the roof off. So good. Oh, geez, dude. Stick to the left. Doesn't look like a seasoned cyclist anyway, so I won't give him too much grief. If it doesn't pay Rego, it shouldn't be on the road. That's what my old man used to say. He hated butt wagglers. Didn't mind motorcyclists, because he had one in the family. I've never owned a convertible until this one. I had a lot of other cars. But um, bought this for a Top Gear challenge mates and I do. We do, we're, we're all fans of Top Gear. And so we picked um, challenges we did. The first one was, oh, 2012, I think. Through the Outback in cheap cars. So we all bought 20 plus year old cars, two wheel drive only off the internet, sight unseen, untest driven. Basically eBay cars. Got them roadworthy and took them to Inner Minka and Cameron's Corner. Then a couple of years ago, we crossed the Simpson Desert in reasonably priced four wheel drive. So under 10 grand, uh, over I think 15 years old. Um, yeah, it was good. I can't remember all the details. Had to have two inch lift minimum, all this stuff. Anyway, that was a great trip. Um, this trip is up the coast in convertibles. So it was meant to be up from Painesville to Queensland, but um, I don't think we're going to be doing that with all the border stuff. So it'll be more of a Victorian-based mountain uh, drive and maybe a bit of coast. But that's been put off twice now. So I've been stuck with the Mercedes for... Um, probably a year now because I thought we'd go in March so it's coming up to yeah six months over when I originally got it to be sort of rid of it but I've got to admit driving without a roof it's kind of nice it feels like a motorbike almost still you know I prefer a bike but on a day like this where you've got to carry shopping and muck around, this is so much better than um, just being in your car. So I figured, hey, why not give you guys an idea of freedom in a car? You can do the old hands up. Woo! Hey, fellas. I'm not looking. Hey. You know, amazing. I thought people would gawk at me and I'd look like a bloody try hard, which I probably do, but um, 
hasn't been that bad. I thought it'd be, you know, you want to check out the old flog in the convertible midlife crisis, you know. Anatomy extension, all those things didn't turn out that way, so that's really good. Well, hasn't yet, but I'm sure now anyone seeing this will start ridiculing. All right. Oh, beautiful day. Gee, I wish I could just continue driving up the freeway, up the country or something. Really bugging me by the lockdown. I know it's necessary, so don't negative comment me here, but it's just really bugging me. Get your mental health, which I'm sure I'm not alone there. The normal shopping centre I go to. Very boring, very bland. Such a narrow car park, it really is. And being a reasonably nice car too, you don't really want to park near anyone else, to be honest with you. I mean, it's in pretty mint condition, bloody bends. Oh yeah, if I go near the... Yeah, that's nice, an Audi. Let someone will have a crack at it. Oh, 